closed his tabs. What are we gonna do? I don't understand what the big deal is. The San Diego Latino Film Festival now playing at the Cinema Star Theaters in Chula Vista. I mean, we have 53 features, you know, 40 filmmakers. You know, we have films coming to us right from Sundance. We have a couple of world premieres. Meet Fred Salas, one of the organizers of the festival, now in its seventh year in San Diego. When he and founder Ethan Van Thilo began the festival, they had no Hollywood connections of any kind. All they had was a dream to showcase Latino films. Because I love film. And because growing up, I never saw myself on the screen. But what are the films about? Well, they're about um, life. I mean, they're universal in theme. It's just that they have a, a Latino sensibility to them. I mean, they explore the culture either through the director or the writer being Latino, the actor or actresses, or the story. Like Brazilian film Orandi, starring Oscar winner Anthony Quinn. The story's about a man celebrating his 93rd birthday. Are the films in English or Spanish? Well, they're in both, and those that are not in English are subtitles. Salas says that's why 40% of their sold-out audiences have been non-Latinos. But in attendance have also been distributors and Hollywood types looking for the next Blair Witch Project. Everyone wants to be involved in Latino culture right now. The Mexican film El Coronal is about an old colonel looking for his long-awaited pension. The film is a big coup for the Latino Film Festival. El Coronel no tiene que la escriba, it's from Arturo Ripstein. Um, it won the Grand Jury Prize at Sundance, Latin America, and it's, it's based on a, a novela by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. U.S. director Ruben Gonzalez's film Mambo Cafe hits the screen tomorrow. And just like in actor Robert Redford's Sundance Festival, Hollywood will be here. Comedian and Hollywood actor Paul Rodriguez, who stars in the film, will be making an appearance. Maria Velasquez, KFMB News 8, Chula Vista.